Hi everyone, Cody here. So I got the idea to use Pepto-Bismol instead of lead for a fire assay. So let's grind up some of these pills and see if this will actually work. So that's four grams of crushed Pepto-Bismol pills. I'm going to add to that some sand, just silica sand, some borax, and some sodium carbonate. Now, of course, this doesn't contain any precious metals, so it's not going to really show much. So let's add a tiny bit of gold powder in there just enough to give us a bead so we're pretending to do a fire assay here essentially let's uh, pour it off and pour it back to mix it well it looks pretty good nice and pink let's go put it in the furnace and see what happens and there we are it's beginning to get melty metal. That's a good sign. Looks like the excess carbon is slowly burning off. Okay, that looks like it's good. Let's just take that out, set it in the sand, let it cool. It's cooled off enough that I can handle it. Now let's uh, destroy the crucible. bead of metal, which is bismuth, with hopefully a little bit of gold dissolved into it. A little hot on the inside there. Okay, here's the bismuth. I'm going to drop it right down into the cupel. It should oxidize away, leaving the gold. Oh, that was pretty. <laughs> Bismuth is getting smaller. As it oxidizes, the oxide melts and is absorbed by the porous cupel. There it is. There's the gold left. <laughs> and I can watch it. I don't have to worry about the lead fumes because there's no lead. <laughs> there we are. Gold recovered using Pepto-Bismol.